Winter sowing tomatoes doesn't work. Is this fact or fiction? Is this a myth or is it reality? I'm going to show you my tomatoes with no secrets, nothing held back, and we're going to answer that question for you today. This is... I live in Zone 5B, Northeast Ohio, and it's May 17th, 2016, just to give you perspective, okay? Now, these right here are my tomato section. These are tomatoes that I just bought this weekend at an organic plant sale locally, grown by Master Gardeners. We're going to go through and talk about why they work, why they don't. I'll tell you, one of the most difficult things I have as a winter sower and someone who teaches winter sowing to people all over the world is the tomato issue and sometimes the pepper issue. If people, they usually give up on peppers completely, but if they're growing them, and here's why. They come in last. Tomatoes come in last and peppers come in last. So people are seeing people all over the country with peppers that are growing great and tomatoes that are growing fantastic and they're comparing theirs and they're not doing near as well and they're upset. Well, guess what? They're living in a warmer climate, period. We cannot rush tomatoes. We can't rush any plant, but these need warmth. So that's the number one reason why they're not growing is people's, people's expectation is that they should be growing. They want them to be growing. Everybody else's are growing. Why aren't they growing? It just hasn't gotten warm enough. Okay. That's the main reason. The second reason, really the first reason I go to is that the soil quality wasn't good enough. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But um, that's the number one reason, especially if you have multiple varieties that didn't come up. It's got to be your soil quality. It could be seeds. It could be watering. It could be sun and shade. It could be the drainage that you have underneath. It could be a lot of things. And in our group, our winter sowing group, which you can go to link down below and come and join our group, we have a whole troubleshooting list for you know reasons why your seedlings may not make it. But it's not that common. So let me show you what I've got. All of these are bursting out the top and ready to be transplanted. Now, there are three here back in my graveyard, which I'll show you. This is my graveyard so far this year. Out of 104 jugs, I have about 10, looks like nine or 10 that have not come up at all. Three were tomatoes. Three different varieties did not come up. Okay, we've got my only hybrid, which is Sun Gold Cherry. Look at it. Now, mind you, I don't like having them stick out the tops like this. I'd rather have transplanted them, but we just had snow and hail three or four days ago. I was out mowing my dad's lawn, and little balls of hail were falling all over me and snow. And, you know, believe it or not, we're even past the last frost date. It's been a freaky, wild winter. I know I'm holding the same picture here. Sorry, I can't turn the camera around on me and do this at the same time. Let's go through these quickly, but you'll see they're doing great. They're dying to get out, and I'm like days away from transplanting these. I'm just waiting to make sure we have solid, warm weather. That's what tomatoes like. Same thing with peppers. My peppers aren't even as big as these, and they're not growing out the tops. They're a couple weeks away from transplant, but I've done this for four. This is my third year now, and it works. Tomatoes will come in. Sun gold cherries, copia striped. Let's see if you can get a peek in there. See, they're doing great. You've got these beef steaks here, almost coming out the top. Let me focus for you. Okay, I got big reds. This is my smallest one. It is growing, but it's kind of unremarkable. But I do. There's some weeds in there. Um, these were somebody else's seeds, but they are coming up. More sun golds. And this one is Sun Gold, Big Red Slicer coming out the top, San Marzano coming out the top. I mean, this thing is filled. You can see, filled. Hillbilly, love these yellow slicers. Look at that. Nice and separated, getting some good growth on the, the uh, stems. This one is Pink Berkeley Tie-Dye. Oh, this is a really pretty one, kind of striped colors. I can't get a good focus today to save my soul. Huh, anyway, I, can't, I don't know why I can't focus that, but you can see. Filled the container. Sweetie cherry tomatoes, filled. More beef steaks. Look at that. Coming out the top. So I can't wait to get these done. Oh, and Matt's Wild Cherries. I'll tell you, if you like cherry tomatoes, this is one of my absolute favorites. They're really tiny, really sweet, and they stay the longest of any tomato into the fall, almost into snow. Really, I love those. So you can see, yes, winter sowing is great for tomatoes. 
why did yours not work? And why did mine work? Am I some like miraculous winter sower? No way. Look to your seed, your, your soil quality. Look at the checklist in the, in the uh, group, in the files tab, and go through everything just one by one. And you, I bet you'll find it. Every single person I troubleshoot with, we figure out it's almost always the soil, not enough drainage ho holes, too much water, and it's not warm enough. These I bought, and you can see they're about the same size. I bought these at our organic plant sale this weekend. Once I open mine up, they're going, that's a pepper. Hello. No, that's basil. I, got, <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on. I just brought all these tomatoes over. Forget the basil. Look at these. Now, they're about the same size. The stems are a little bit thicker, but they're about what I just bought. This is what happens. This is what grows in my climate. So get your expect expectations clear and straight. Will these grow slower than indoor growing? Frequently, yes. But if you talk to any veteran winter sower, they'll start off smaller, just like these are right now. They're, they're smaller, but once they get transplanted, they take off. They grow faster, the stems get thicker, faster, and they sometimes exceed the height and the growing capacity and the health of indoor grown seedlings because they were grown hardened. So. Do tomatoes work with winter sowing? Absolutely. You can figure out why if yours haven't. You are not the majority. Hang on. Be patient. Study a little bit. Learn a little bit. And if you're really worried next year, don't give up. Don't be one of those people that, you know, oh, it didn't work one time and I'm not trying it again. Don't be silly. Sometimes it takes three, four, five times to figure something out in gardening. I mean, you know, we all have mistakes. We all have things to learn. So don't give up. If this, thing, this thing is too good to not stick with because once you master it, you have it for life. Free seedlings for life. No indoor growing. No electricity charges. No buying new bulbs. No grow lights, you know, and all the seedlings taking over your house. I had 300 seedlings my first year in the house. I about got kicked out of the house, but I didn't care. I wanted my seedlings. Now I have, you know, probably, I don't know, 700. I have so many seedlings all almost for free with winter sowing. Thanks so much for joining me. Go down in the comment section. Let me know real life. Have you winter sown tomatoes? Was it successful? Why wasn't it if it wasn't? And tell me, if you're a veteran winter sower, tell everybody, please. They catch up, they take off, and it works great. Thanks so much. Sending you much love from my garden to yours. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.